So, yeah, this is my story, in a nutshell. My name is Carlos, I am currently 20 years old, and I am a second year economics student at the University of Warwick in the United Kingdom. Thankfully, I was born in a place far, far away from the questionable lands of Coventry. I am Peruvian, which tends to have an effect of mystery when I meet new people, but that works smoothly for me. This is my hometown, Trujillo, and much aside from it being the favorite holiday spot for Yankees and assorted gringos, we have good food, history, and lots of cool niche stuff. This is the young me, Carlitos, if you will. I was, and still am, to be fair, a huge nerd. I used to be quite curious about paleontology. Then I grew up and started bossing maths, because why not? Then I also bossed music, and I met some cool people who made me less of a nerd. I became a prefect, head boy, and a valedictorian. Life was decent, so I was therefore ready to aim for the next big chapter of my life. University and everything that becoming an adult entailed. I joyfully applied to Oxford, and after sleepless nights and hours of pure effort, I got rejected which was quite sad. Certainly not an easy time for me. But then Warwick appeared, and they said yes, so my dream of world-class education abroad was still very much alive. Once already at Warwick, and attending way more lectures and club nights, I started to gain highly analytical insights from the brightest minds in my fields of interest. However, most of us students found the lecture material not that engaging at times, particularly I wondered if there was a way for us to use software in order to directly visualize the effects of changing multiple variables in the models at once. But there were not many resources for that, indeed a problem of scarcity. So there was not much we could do at that time to address my concerns. Nevertheless, I had an idea when I came across the beautiful programming language that is Wolfram. So I scheduled a meeting with the module lecturers from Microeconomics to tell them about my epiphany. Amongst my discernible elation and nerves, I told them that I could produce software for in-class and independent learning for students and lecturers so that we no longer rely on static PDFs, but rather on the interactive and automated models which I would code. After some initial skepticism, they gave me a research scholarship, and thus my coding adventure began. I spent my days and nights of last summer doing maths, coding, and vibing. Probably more than I would care to admit, but it was still quite fun and I learned new stuff. I produced a website and my first research paper while still being pretty new to economics, so that was cool. Proud of my work, I went back to my lecturers and presented my findings. They seemed to like them and were also proud, as I derived 42 generalized solution equations and crafted 20 calculators. I then kept working on more topics not only in microeconomics, but also on macroeconomics, econometrics, industrial organization, and game theory. There was also a lecture organized for me to teach students how to use my software. This could be it! My moment to contribute meaningfully to society, an opportunity to show what I am capable of and inspire some young minds. But no one came to my lecture. I was heartbroken. Nothing in life had meaning anymore and all hope seemed to be lost. Was this the end of my project? So ephemeral? No, I was not giving up that easily, for I knew there was much potential to exploit in my wildest and most far-fetched ideas. So I spoke to the president of the Economic Society, and we found a way to integrate my vision into one of the departments. I now have a new job there, not only in creative design and videography, but also in producing visualization tools for university, A-level, and IB students in economics and applied maths. In the foreseeable future, I will be posting my content on YouTube, TikTok, and eventually Twitch, in English and Spanish, hopefully later on in French and German as well, in all of which I will be posting coding tutorials, revision guides, and miscellaneous shenanigans about my sporadically surrealistic life. I am thrilled to see what the future holds and how my channel evolves with time. In the meantime, I will be giving this my best to support students, keep imparting knowledge, and making applied maths a marginally less insufferable subject. You can access my website and socials in this link tree or the video description below. Thank you all guys very much for watching, and until the next time, stay safe with a tiny hint of insane, impart peace, live long, and prosper.